crazy breaking news. I want to talk about another tech stock. Uh, Elon Musk just tweeting again. He says, still committed to acquisition. After throwing in everything into a tizzy this morning, Twitter shares are now down, but by 11% that's the exact, instead of 25%. Is that the exact tweet still committed to that's acquisition? It. At, at what price? It doesn't say. That, that is it. That's, guys, that, but that's the point. Don't you think that this has always been just a negotiation or a renegotiation? We don't know. He's committed and, and, and to the deal. Would, that, that sounds Nobody like Nobody knows. It, but but. Uh, the, what's happening to the retail investors today, and by the way, the people who have had the most faith in Elon Musk, the ones who have bought in on this, is that they were down 25% this morning on his first tweet. Down, and if you sold at that point, the stocks come back up. And What's Tesla doing? Yeah, but Let's look at Tesla and he's then we'll doing get to it Tony. He's going to argue that he's doing it all before the market actually opens. We're looking, obviously, well, at the futures yeah. numbers. So, so, Tony, what do you think of this? And Tesla, uh, you cover Tesla, right? What do you think before? What do you think now? <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, uh, I agree um, that this is probably a negotiation tactic on behalf of Elon, the market has come down a lot. Um, and so he's probably, you know, using the guise of, you know, true active users as a negotiation ploy. Um, but I think, look, the whole Twitter issue has been one of distraction from an investor's perspective for Elon Musk. He's clearly has a lot of mind share focused on this now. And Tesla stock generally has traded inversely to his involvement in the deal. And I think part of it is that uh, folks are worried about the financing and whether Elon may need to sell more shares. But I think part of it is, you know, this is a CEO who's extraordinarily capable, but already has his hands in many, many things. And uh, if, you know, his energy and attention is going to be focused on something else, that's a, that's a distraction in investors' eyes. Well. You were booked to talk about Apple, which had its worst week in years. So there's a lot of reasons why Tesla stock has been down, Tony, in terms of just a Absolutely. Absolutely. But I think if you, if you sort of follow the daily gyrations about what's been happening with Tesla, typically when there's been drama on the Twitter side, you've seen Tesla pull back. But, but certainly, Jill, there's been a broad-based pullback in, in the technology environment. That's mainly why Tesla has come off its highs of, you know, close to 1,200 to something that's closer to 800. But in the context of how Tesla investors think about Twitter, generally, I think the daily movements are suggesting that they view it yeah. as, as, a, as a distraction.